if you don't have a neck beard, you probably don't enjoy doing SQL at the command line, which is why I always download the DB browser for SQL Lite. It's a real simple download. Just head over to their site. There's a few options. I just download the zip file. There's an installer, but I mean, let's face it, installers are for losers and the zip file just downloads in a matter of seconds. I'm just gonna extract it to my local file system, open it up, and then you'll see there's the executable file right there that you can open up and play around with your SQLite 3 databases. Now, one thing I will mention, obviously, you wanna put this in a more respectable spot on your file system. You don't wanna leave it in downloads here, but I'll let you figure out the right location for it on your own. You notice I can just double click and the tool's gonna to start right up. It's lightweight, it's easy to use. You do need to feed it a database though. And in a previous tutorial, when I installed SQLite, I also created a database in a folder unremarkably named underscore DB. And there it is right there. It's a little to-do database to help me create that Python or JavaScript or Java to-do application. As you can see, the database has been opened up. I just have to point to the file on the file system that represented the database. And it says, hey, there's a bunch of tasks in this database. And I'll be like, really? Well, maybe I'll browse all of those files. And it's going to say, well, there's actually nothing in there. And I'm going to be like, well, that's actually no good to me. So the next thing I could do is maybe run a little bit of SQL and see if I can insert something into this database. And I don't know, why don't we tell everybody to learn a little bit of Python. I'm going to click play there. It's going to say that, oh, apparently it got inserted. Maybe I'll tell everybody to learn some Spring as well. So I can make a little change, click play and I don't know, maybe everybody should be learning Mojo as well. So I'll throw that in there for a third insert. Now, did all of this work? I don't know, I'm from Missouri, I wanna find out. So I'll throw in a little select star from tasks, click the play button, and boom, there we go. All of a sudden, learn Python, learn Spring, learn Mojo. And I don't know, maybe we could even update this. We shouldn't be learning Python anymore. Python's days are numbered. We should only be learning Mojo. So why don't we tell people to get straight and learn Mojo. So we should do a little update there. This is the update statement. Now, did that actually work? I don't know. Let's see what happens when we do a select. Boom, that learn Python has changed into learn Mojo. Now, I guess the last thing we can do here if we want to complete the set of CRUD operations is just do that delete. I click delete, that should delete everything from the database, but I'm from Missouri, I need to be shown. If I click play here, I see there's nothing in there. So there you go. That is how easy it is to get a, a visual tool for SQLite. Now, that is a, a quick overview of SQLite, a quick SQLite tutorial. If you're doing Python development, JavaScript development, or Java development, I've got a number of tutorials on how to programmatically connect to SQLite. So if you want to dig deeper, check those out next.